Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to differentiate from first principles. So to start with I'm going to show you an example to kind of give you some understanding as to how differentiation from first principles is going to work. Then I'll teach you the formula for it and then we'll use that to answer a question. So let's start with this. So I've drawn the curve y equals x squared, okay, and say I wanted to find the gradient of this curve at the point x equals 1. Well to do that I could differentiate and find that dy by dx is going to be equal to 2x and then say at the point x equals 1 my derivative dy by dx is going to be equal to 2 times 1, so 2. So we found the gradient of the curve at that point. But say I didn't know how to differentiate like that. Well, one thing I could do, okay, is draw a tangent to the curve like this. It's not a very well drawn tangent, but you get the point. I could draw a tangent to the curve at the point x equals 1, find the gradient of this tangent, and then use that as an estimate for the gradient of the curve at that point. And differentiation from first principles kind of works on that kind of idea. So let's plot a second point on my curve, say at the point x equals 2. So this will be the point 2, 4. And let me connect the two points with a straight line, a chord that connects the two. Now let's find the gradient of this line. Okay, so we've got the coordinates 2, 4 and the coordinates 1, 1. So to find the gradient, we do the difference in y, which is going to be 4 subtract 1, so 3, divided by the difference in x, which is 2 subtract 1, which is 1. And so we get a gradient of this chord, or this new straight line, this green one, as 3. Now let's see what happens if I bring that second coordinate closer to the point I'm interested in. So let's do a second point at x equals 1.5, which is going to be here. And that's going to have the coordinates 1.5, 2.25. So we're going to connect a line that connects the point 1, 1 to the point x equals 1.5, like that. And let's find the gradient of this new line. Well, we've got the two coordinates, so we've got 1.5, 2.25, and the original one, 1, 1.1. And so to find the gradient, I'm going to do my difference in y, which is going to be 2.25 subtract 1, so 1.25 divided by the difference in x, which is 1.5 subtract 1, which leaves me with 0.5. And if I work that out, I get a new gradient of this new line as 2.5. So you can see, right, as I bring that second point closer and closer to the point I'm interested in, so my gradient was 3, then 2.5, my gradient is actually getting closer to the, to the real gradient, so I'm getting a good estimate. So let's do one more example where we bring the second point very, very close to where we're interested in. So let's do a new point at 1.01. .01. So this is going to have the coordinates, well, 1.01, .01, and then my, whoops, my y coordinate is going to be, let's have a look, 1.01 .01 squared is 1.0201. .01. So let's find the gradient of the line that I would get if I connected my point 1.1 to this new point that's very close. So again, we've got our coordinates 1.01 .01 and 1.0201, .01, and the original coordinates 1.1. So my difference in y initially, that's going to give me 0 0.2, whoops, 0 0.0201, and my difference in x is going to give me 0 0.01. So if I work this out on my calculator, I would get that this new gradient is 2.01, which you can see is a very good estimate of the real gradient. And so differentiation from first principles kind of works on the idea that we're drawing a tangent that is infinitely close, or a chord rather, that is infinitely close to where we're interested in. So let's take a look, okay? Say we had a generic uh, curve, y equals f of x, and let's plot the point x on the curve. So that's going to be here, and it's going to have coordinates x and f of x. Now let's go a very short distance away from that point x. Let's go a distance h away, and h can be a very, very small number. So this is going to take me to the point x plus h. So let's plot that on the curve. So it's going to be here, and its coordinates are going to be x plus h and f of x plus h. So now, say I wanted to find the gradient of the chord that connected these two bits, which, remember, this is very zoomed in, so the, the coordinate x plus h is extremely close to the coordinate x. Well, to do that, I'm going to do my difference in y, so f of x plus h, subtract f of x, divided by my difference in x, which is x plus h subtract x. Now if I simplify this, I'm going to get f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. But even if h is very, very close to the point x, 
it still isn't at the point x, which is where I want it to be to get an accurate gradient. And so to do that, we're going to take what's called the limit, as this point h tends to zero. And the limit is just as we get infinitely close to it. So basically what we're saying is we want h to basically go as close as it possibly can, so pretty much to zero, and we're going to see what happens when that when it goes to zero. And when that happens, we're going to get the gradient of f of x, so f dash of x. And this here is our formula for differentiation from first principles. So what I'm going to do is copy this and bring it down, and we'll do this example here. So you can see we want to find the gradient of f of x equals x squared, and we're going to do it from first principles. And so all I'm going to do really is substitute everything into the formula. So what is going to be f of x plus h? Well, if f of x is x squared, f of x plus h is just going to be equal to x plus h all squared, which is equal to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And so let's substitute in what we know. So we've got the derivative of x, or the derivative of the function f of x, is going to be equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h, which is equal to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Subtract f of x, well that's just x squared, so subtract x squared, all divided by h. Now let's simplify it, you can see that these x squareds are going to cancel, and we get that the limit as h tends to 0 is 2xh plus h squared over h. Now when we're taking the limit, okay, usually what we can do, especially at A level, is just substitute in a 0 wherever there's an h. But we can't currently do that because we'd be dividing by 0. But we can simplify this a bit more because you can see this h will cancel with this h and this one here to leave us with the limit as h tends to 0 of 2x plus h. And when in the limit, so when h goes to 0, we're left with 2x, which is going to be the gradient of f of x. And so we've differentiated the function x squared from first principles. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it was useful. If it was, subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other tutorials and videos. Uh, and if you want past exam questions, then you can go onto my TikTok link in the description because I post loads of past paper questions on there. Thanks for watching.